down no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, this is Naga Souls Adventure. I hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing on how to view encrypted PlayStation 3 modded avatars, plus how to convert the EDAT files to PNGs so you can view your avatars on your PC more easier and don't always have to, you know, transfer your EDAT files to your PlayStation 3 to view your avatars. Instead, you could just go ahead and look at your avatars from your PC. So it's, it does take a quite a long time to try to view over like a bunch of avatars if you have a large collection of them. I also do recommend for this tutorial to go ahead and check out my older video on how to basically get over 4,000 free modded avatars for your custom forever or PlayStation 3 or your hen enabled PlayStation 3. I will have a link for that right now in the card and also in the link in the description below. But with that being stated out the way as well, if you guys could please be sure to follow my latest social media so you know the latest hacking guys and tutorials for my channel um the best way on how to know when i update on my um channel is to of course be subscribed and hit that notification button but as well as to follow my twitter that's where i usually drop when i you know my latest videos on that social media platform as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my community you could go ahead and check out my official discord i will have the link in the description below or as showcase on the screen you could just type it in that link link via your URL for whatever web browser of your choice so if you're using Chrome you can go ahead and type it in there or Firefox not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding community you can also get the latest hacking guides for your favorite console via for like the PlayStation 3 PS4 Vita and stuff like that and not only you can get help for useful um, guides and tips and tricks and my discord as well since I have a discord channel that has support for you know those respective consoles um, one thing I do want to state, of course, and this is purely optional, if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form, you can feel free to donate via my pay excuse me, PayPal. I'll have that in the link in the description below. Any of the money that I may receive from my fans and supporters will go straight back into my channel. It will help me buy things such as software editing tools, um, a better microphone, a better camera, stuff like that, so it can provide you know, the best quality content for you guys to see. One thing I also want to state is the prerequisites and things you need for this video. Any of the items I state will be in the download description below. So of course we're going to need Dark Nachos PSN Avatar Viewer. Um, this is going to allow us to view our decrypted EDAT files and basically view our avatars from our PC. We're also going to need True Ancestors EDAT Rebuilder, and this is going to take our EDAT files or basically the avatar EDAT files and decrypt them to just regular DAT files. And I'll explain all of that stuff once. Once we get into the you know meat and potatoes of this uh, tutorial and you need any set of avatars I will link a 4,000 pack of avatars it's from the same one from my older video and basically you could use all of those avatars for this uh, tutorial if you want to do or you could use your own as long as they're already encrypted into EDAT format as well of course you need a PC to download these files and last but not least you need a USB stick that is formatted to FAT32 because I'm going to be teaching you guys and also how to be uh, transferring um, these files to your PlayStation 3 account and stuff like that um one thing i want to give a shout out to is dark nacho for you know having this psn avatar viewer and i just want to give credit to all my fans who you know watches my content on a daily basis so thank you guys for watching and we can go ahead and get started for today's tutorial Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. So of course, you need a set of avatars. I already stated that in the description below, I already have the 4K avatar pack. So you could go get your own or basically just use the ones from, um, you know, in the link in the description below. But your avatars need to be already in EDAT format and it will basically will look like this on your PC. So here are some of my personal avatars that I have and I've collected from on the Japan PlayStation Network servers. And I'm gonna be showcasing on how to view them right now on the PC. So once you have your avatars, you have them extracted into one folder, you see them all on your desktop. 
what we're going to do is also take this uh avatar viewer and basically take this extracted zip and just extract it out to our pc so i'm going to go ahead and right click over it extract files and then just hit ok so it could um output to my desktop so once you have basically um your zip file extracted to your out to your pc we could go ahead and leave this to the side we're going to go into open up um this file excuse me folder right here and we need to go and open up the decryptor folder now you'll see basically all of these folders right here the one folder that we're going to be focusing on one on um, basically on right now is the edat folder and this is where we're going to place all of our edats from what i do recommend is not to um just copy and paste all over all of your edats basically just drag and drop just go ahead and copy them over since um you want to keep them for you know whatever reason you could just you know leave them to the side so once you uh copy your edat files into one area what we're going to do is go back out from the decryptor section and then we're going to go to rebuild.exe and then basically we're going to have true ancestors uh edat rebuilder so let me go ahead and minimize this and maximize this on the screen the first thing what we're going to do is just go to the first option so all you would have to do is hit number one on your keyboard to decrypt edat only and now you'll probably see all of your edat so depending on how many you put in at once i think a good number is just about a hundred at a time because i've tried to do like a thousand and sometimes um the database or basically when it tries to decrypt there sometimes it fails but what i like to do is least to do um 100 at once i think there's 90 in here in total the ones i already have and all you would have to do is basically to batch all of these files at once to decrypt is just hit a on your uh, keyboard and then hit enter and as shown here it's basically taking the edat files and now it's going to decrypt them into dot dats and what should happen if you did everything correctly is to basically um it should give this a uh, notification that states that the dat or the basically edat files has decrypted successfully so what i'm going to do here is let it do its thing it may take a little while since it's 90 uh avatars it has to go through but once it's fully uh finished doing its process i'll come back to the pc and state on the next things what we need to do Alrighty, so as shown all of my files has successfully decrypted except one i don't know why one didn't decrypt but that's fine for this tutorial um what we're going to do now is just exit out of true ancestry and now what we're going to do is go ahead and go back into our um this file right here and then we're going to go back into decryptor and we're going to go into edat and now what we should notice um depending on how many files you put in here you will notice that there is more files so let me go ahead and maximize this on the screen and as you see um, the file types one is a edat and one is a dot dat um the dot dat files are basically the files that have been decrypted um what i'm going to do now um you don't have to do this step but it makes it easier for um for this process a little later in the video i'll show you now what i like to do is go into edat or just type edat right here if i can type today all right so yeah just type in dot edat and basically dot or basically delete all the edat files and we're going to just leave the dot dat file so that's what i'm doing right now i know i had like 90 files until you start seeing dot dat don't delete those just delete the one that says edat so basically i already know i had 90 avatars in here and i'm deleting all 90 edat files and that's why i told you guys to um basically keep a copy of your original files before doing this since you want to go still use them and like later on so now we have our decrypted edat files or avatars what we need to do is go back into right here go into dark nachos avatar zip go into edat viewer and here is the psn excuse me psn avatar viewer and it's just a little gui like this all we would have to do is fairly simple on how to set up is to take our dot dat file either you could go to file open and find it into like the whatever directory but the easiest way is just to drag and drop them so here is one of my japanese uh, files right here or folders or excuse me not folders can't even talk today avatars and as you see if i just keep dragging and dropping it will showcase uh which avatars i have already installed so it makes it very much easier instead of looking through a whole database and instead of like going through the playstation 3's uh, avatar database or whatever once you like transfer your files over 
it makes it very much easier so one cool thing about this too you could save these files as png so if you wanted to use these images for like twitter or whatever or you just want to make sure you could keep a database of all your files into one place let's say i want to go ahead and change into this one all i would have to do is go file save and then wait for it to save and now what i could do is go back to my desktop find my location of this file so you could go ahead and right click rename go to control C and make the file name um, if I go back in the dark not or excuse me dark nachos uh, avatar viewer go back in the decryptor go into edat and then label it as this and then go as PNG there should be an image in here as of right now or right, let me go ahead and I don't think it's saved so hold on let me go back let's see if you just go to file and then go to save oh it did show I'm not too sure why it didn't show but if I go and move it to my desktop as you see here um, the image has successfully saved so if I were to try to match this avatar up all you would have to do is just take this file right here match the uh, content ID of it or basically um, this string of code and just go control C a dark nachos thing and let's say if i was trying to find this avatar to copy over from my uh pc and i wanted to use it on my ps3's avatar all i'd have to do is go here and then it will find the actual edat file or the dot dat file but since i'm trying to get the real edat one we're going to go over here that's why i told you guys to keep your edat so let me go ahead and just copy let me make it widescreen so you guys can see and just hit Control v if I could type today so yeah once you hit control V this avatar or yeah this edat file corresponds with this picture if that makes any sense so let's say if I wanted to I wanted to uh, use this photo for my avatar and PlayStation Network I'll show you guys on how to do that right now so I showed you guys on how to decrypt it how to get the actual uh, PNG or the picture itself now I'm gonna show you guys on how to successfully install it so all we need to do either you can use the Fozilla FTP client method or you could use the uh, USB method which I'm gonna be showing here let me go ahead and drag this to the side I'm gonna go into file Explorer go to my USB drive and what we need to do is something very simple. We need to verify that our USB drive is on a FAT32. The easiest way on how to do that is just right click over our USB drive of choice, go in properties, and your file system should state that it's on FAT32. If it states that it's on XFAT or NTFS, we need to go ahead and reformat our hard drive so it could state that it's on FAT32. So one thing before we even get starting on the reformatting process of this uh, video, Go ahead and back up any data if you do care about your um, items that you have on your USB flash drive. Um, for example, I'm going to keep all my data on here and I'm not going to fully reformat, but I'm going to just run through the process on how to. But assuming that you're going to go fully through with this process and your thing is on NTFS or XFAT, since the PlayStation 3 can't write, read those file systems, you need to be on FAT32 for this process. So I do recommend backing up your stuff because anytime you reformat your uh, USB drive, it basically is going to wipe your data clean anyways. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go right click over it go to format make sure your capacity is the largest capacity if your things on XFAT or NTFS as showcased here just go into FAT32 for your allocation unit size just do the default um, volume label it doesn't matter you could just label it as anything I just named mine Sony make sure you have a quick format already toggled on and then by hitting start and then by hitting OK, I'm not going to hit OK since I have content that I still want to keep on this USB drive. It's basically going to erase your drive clean. And then it may take like 10 to 30 seconds. It will pop up with another notification on the screen stating that it has um, successfully been formatted and you're on file system FAT32. Then once you get that message, all you would have to do is check back for you from here on the USB. Go to file system and it will state that's on FAT32. So assuming that you guys understood that and you're on FAT32 right now, all you would have to do is go and create a new folder on your USB drive. Type in all lowercase PSN underscore avatar because this is how the PlayStation 3 uh, reads avatars. Go here. 
and then what we're going to do is take our avatar choice the edat file not the dot dat file but edat it has to be edat and just drag and drop to this folder location right here once you have that we could go ahead and back out of our pc we're going to go and safely eject our usb of choice and then go to our playstation 3 to get this installed um as well you need multi-man for this process so assuming that you guys already have multi-man installed and already know how to install package files um i'll assume that you could still follow along if you don't know how to install i'll have a guide for that as well but what we're going to do is go straight to the playstation 3 and get this Alrighty guys, so assuming that you're on the PlayStation 3 as showcased here and you already got your USB plugged into whatever slot on your PlayStation 3, what we're going to do now is go ahead and enable HEN and this is only for, you know, HEN users. So if you're on custom firmware like Rebug, of course you don't have to do this step, it's just for HEN users. And what we need to do is go ahead and basically just load into HEN. Once you have that, verify that your network Wi-Fi is on as well. And what we need to do is go into Multiman right now. All right, once we're into Multiman, all you would need to do is just scroll all the way left to this column right here and go into File Manager slash Multiman Operating System. What we need to do now is go into PS3 root, dev underscore HTD zero, go to home, and then go to whatever profile you use on your PlayStation 3 that you wanna add avatars to. So in my case, I only have one profile on my PS3. And the best way on how to know um, which avatar or basically what profile is your account located on is to just go to this uh, file right here, local username. And if you named any username or any special username for your thing, I already know mine is user one. It will just detail which user is connected to your PSN. Another uh, easier way, if I go back into dev underscore ACD zero, then if I go back into home zero zero one and go into, let me see, friend I'm and go to avatar. Um, I will say sometimes your friends list and stuff like that. And that's one way on how to notice that as well. But what we're gonna do is go into um, PSN underscore, if you don't already have this, avatar folder here if you never purchase avatars what we need to do is go ahead and dump our avatar to here what i'm going to do now is just label this one a different name since i already have some avatars put it on to this account and i just want to back it up but what we need to do for y'all guys is go to ps3 root go to dev underscore usb 00 psn underscore avatar copy and once you find your profile go ahead and paste your avatar and then as showcased here, um, your avatar will be located in this file. If you have this little .ini file, I think that's just from my desktop. I'm going to delete it. It should just be PSN underscore avatar and your edats. The only reason why I did PSN underscore avatar one, since I already have a bunch of avatars in this one and I just wanted to archive it. So the PlayStation 3 won't read all of my avatars. It will just read the one that I just transferred over. So once you got all your avatars copied over, what we're gonna do is go ahead and back out to um, Multiman and then go and sign into PSN. Alrighty, so as showcased here, we're back onto PlayStation Network right now. So if you're on a custom firmware, go ahead and use SNE Enabler or PS Ninja, whatever your choice is. But as showcased here, here's my um, original avatar right now. I'm gonna go ahead and change it. So all you would have to do if you go into account management, scroll all the way down to, I believe, um, account information avatar and then as you see you see all the basic regular psn ones but if you remember here's the same avatar we saw on our pc and now i've just changed it onto my console so yeah now i have successfully changed my psn avatar and now that's basically the end of this tutorial so essentially i taught you guys on how to decrypt how to view an avatar from your pc and also how to install it um if you guys did enjoy this video and did learn something for today please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below if you need any help on how to set this up be sure to you know follow me on twitter and ask questions there but with all that fun stuff being stated my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching peace